Good morning, everyone. My name is Maria De Luna, and most of you who follow me on Facebook know I provide live immigration Q and A sa Filipino portal po every Tuesday, um, every week po yan. So this year, I promised myself that I'll be creating uh, more short clips and uh, more contents that we can share sa ating mga viewers. And this time, I will be providing more Tagalog contents, just like when I do my live Q&A. So last year, I was making clips, but it was on English. Today, basically, what we're going to do is provide a very short clip on express entry uh, that has been actually created since 2015 okay a lot of people think that express entry is a program it's actually not okay so um, let's uh, see the my illustration here so on express entry because it's it's actually a management system no it manages uh, m uh, several programs in the system okay so as you know as of 2015 january 2015 uh there's one to two times the draw every month there's no set schedules for the draw uh current ranking score is not lower than 400 for the last three months i think it's around 440 445 right and lmia does not guarantee you invitation this is a very old information um, LMIA does not give you 600 points anymore. That was stopped November 2016. Ouch. Okay, so right now it only gives you 50 points or 200 points if you are in the knock double zero. Okay, so how does express entry work? Okay, a lot of people are still confused after what almost uh, nine years now. Uh, uh, nine years, sorry, four years. But that four years now. Oh, hello, my math. So express entry basically it manages the systems of most programs. It actually to me, ah, para siyang gate, no? So, ito, nandito yung mga programs natin. The Federal Skilled Worker category, the Canadian Experience ga class, there's a Federal Skilled Trades program, and then the some, some provincial nominees have Express Entry, right? So, ito, tagmumukhang gate si Express Entry, okay? What does this Express Entry do? Lahat ng qualified sa mga programs na to, okay, Express Entry provides ranking points, okay? And then by the points system, pinupul lahat ng applicants dito, okay? Halu halu yan dito sa loob. Federal skilled worker, CEC, FSTP, and provincial nominee. And then once immigration decides to, to um, invite people, what they do is they invite a certain number of number of applicants. No? So, sabi natin today, they want to invite 3,500. And then yung pang 3,500 na person, then yon yung pinapublish nila sa CIC website, what the, small, um, the lowest ranking points are. Okay, so that's basically how that works. Now, a lot of people are still wondering, paano sila magiging immigrant sa Canada? Okay, all information, you could actually find it on the CIC website. If you don't know what the CIC website is, it's www.cic.gc.ca. Okay, so let's go to that page. CIC website. So let's say I'm doing the CIC website from the start. No? CA. Okay. If all else fails, you can't find it. Use the search box. It's very user friendly. Type express entry. And there it is. Immigrate through express entry. You can click how express entry works. Now you have to understand that an express entry requires that you have skilled work experience. Why? Dahil lahat ng program na pinakita ko sa inyo that express entry system manages, uh, they're all skilled work experience. So what's skilled work experience? That's usually the supervisors, managers, the professionals, Right? So if you're unsure if you're 
uh, occupation is skilled or unskilled, there's actually a way to find that out as well. But for now, okay, and what I usually do is find it through uh, the National Occupation Classification, okay? And using that tool, pwede nyo ring tingnan if ang position ninyo is skilled or not. And Google is my best friend, right? Kasi we'll have to discuss this using layman's terms. Sabihin natin, you don't know anything, any technicality about this. So, you know, the first bet is to go to Google and find out what it is, right? So, national classification occupation. It's usually the first thing that comes to your screen. Uh, this is not code. So, if you don't know your not code, you can just use search not search by titles search by keyword right and then you type it in right let's say familiar administrative officer there you go 1221 admin officers so you'll see you knock code nyo. Ito ang knock code nyo, the four numbers there. Okay? How I look at knock codes usually by the numbers, pero for some people, they wouldn't know what it is. So you go to the matrix. Matrix basically in table nila, no? So as you know, makikita nyo ang skill level 0, A, and B are considered skilled. Yung C and D, they're what we call semi-skilled or low-skilled, no? So as long as your knock code falls under this three, then you know you are um, a skilled level, okay? So um, let's go back again to the express entry. So as soon as you know that you're qualified, gusto mong malaman ano ba ang score mo, no? Kasi ang pilian ngayon, 400, 440 and above, right? So you would know how you will rank against candidates in the pool of applicants. You'll be able to find out how to calculate your score. Make sure na you will be, so let's say married, you will be selecting proper uh, answers to these questions, no? Otherwise, you will most likely generate uh, a not so accurate points okay so yon and it's very straightforward ang yabang ko 33 years old <laughs> let's say let's say 35 right 35 and then here the question about education if you do not have or hindi ka nag sa Canada make sure ang academics ninyo will have an educational credential assessment. Dahil kung wala kayong ECA, when you create your express entry profile, uh, it will generate your, in a, uh, your um, not eligible. It will be ineligible kasi hindi kompleto. So make sure you have this, okay? So say bachelor's degree. Okay. Language exam, okay. Karamihan ng mga Filipinos outside Canada will fall under the federal skilled worker category first. Okay? Yun ang usual default when creating express entry. And take note na may threshold ang federal skilled worker category. It's CLB 7 in all abilities. So that's 6 in IELTS, right? So here, it's very easy. You just create, um, you just put, sabi natin 6, no? Si kasi IELTS, that's the minimum. Um, threshold para ma invite ka. So, natin na hit ming six in every ability. Boom, there you go. Have no other language exam. Your work experience, you've been working for five years or longer na. See, you see here why it's just saying five years or more sa skilled work. Ibig sabihin kahit 10 years ka na, 20 years ka na sa trabaho mo, you would have the same score as those with only five years or longer. Na work experience, okay? Sabi natin hindi pa tayo na sa Philippines, right? 
and wala kang certificate of qualification. Certificate of qualification basically yan yung mga from a professional organization that allows you to hold certain titles, right? Such as um, carpenters would require journeyman certificate from Alberta or other provinces. Engineers would require that they be registered. Nurses. So let's say no. Okay. Okay. So the qu next question: If you have a job offer, sabihin natin wala hang job offer. Do you have a nomination certificate? Sabihin natin no. Uh, be careful of this nomination certificate. You know, I have a lot of people ask me. I'm from Alberta, and a lot of people would ask me, "Na nominate na ako sa AINP, uh, pwede ko bang i-include yan sa express entry ko?" Please take note: paper-based Alberta nominee certificate cannot be added sa express entry. Okay, it cannot be used through there. If if you used um, if that nomination certificate is for a traditional paper-based application, you cannot include that. Ang question na ito na, do you have a nomination certificate from a province or territory? Is if that certificate, that, that nomination category is specifically for express entry. Okay? So, yun. Okay, so no. Now, additional points. If you have siblings, okay, they added this last year in June. So if you have siblings, then you have additional points. Okay. So sabi natin si husband has a bachelor's degree, uh, pero ang naibigay lang sa kanya is a two-year program. Okay, and he doesn't have any skilled work experience sa Canada. You actually get extra points if you have experience in Canada. Okay. Uh, sabihin natin nag language test din siya okay sabihin natin 6 let's hit the minimums okay so sabihin natin nag 5 siya okay then there you go calculate your score there you go 384 Okay. So, napapansin ko ganito, to reach 440s, your ECA or your educational credential assessment must hit a bit on the higher level, such as master's or the professional level. So, try natin, no? So, uh, here, here. Sabihin natin na nakuha niyo yung master's or professional degree. Okay? And then, let's hit the calculator score. Okay? Mapapansin mo, tumaas siya ng 410. Right? Sabihin natin, ihit natin yung English exam ng medyo mas matataas. Right? I mean, you're in the master's level, level, you should be able to hit higher. Right? And the reason why I'm saying this, I had a, a veterinarian, we processed her paperwork, uh, five, six months, yeah. Again, mapapansin nyo, tumataas. With a master's level, she became 474 points. Right? So, yun. so that's how you look at it. Okay. So I was uh, um, I was saying earlier kanina, no? um, how to create express entry profile. So let's backtrack there. I, uh, this is the usual letter I give to my clients kapag they want to know paano mag-immigrate. They don't. This is how you start. No? You must have uh, and you must understand that First and foremost, you have you must have skilled work experience. Okay, pag na established na yon that you have skilled work experience, then these are the three things that you must understand. Unang una, yung academic documents niyo must be credentialized, must be checked for Canadian equivalency. Then and only then you'd be able to get points for that. Then and only then you could be able to um, create your profile. Okay, aside from the other two okay so itong mga to you can see there's five approved ones that you can use okay again english exam is a requirement i know that CELPIP is now available in the philippines before um only english only ielts is available you must take the general training okay a minimum threshold a threshold of six in every ability sa ielts is um, an equivalent to a Canadian language benchmark of seven, which is the CELPIP, okay? 
Proof of funds, that's a requirement, okay? If you do not have proof of funds, then there's no point in pushing for X for PR because it required you on, unless you're already here inside Canada and you're already working, that's waived, no? Pero usually, you have to check if you're qualified. And this is usually the link where you check kung you have proof of funds. Okay, when creating proof, uh, when creating express entry, you do not need to show proof of funds, but they will ask you for how much you can uh, bring when you come to Canada. Kasi kapag ang nai-input nyo is lower than the required proof of funds per the number of family unit, magiging ineligible then ang express entry nyo. Okay. So uh, make sure you check that. So if you have all information, all of these three information, then you are able to create your express entry profile. Okay. If your score is less than the minimum invitations, then I would suggest to touch provincial nominees as well. Okay. Uh, that would be uh, another clip. Okay. Thank you very much. And yeah, so I think that's the end of our first video for 2019. And I wish to see you again sa ating mga darating pang videos. Thank you.